Ancient Romans drank lots of wine, but poorer people could rarely afford it. What did they drink instead? There was a cheaper alternative to wine called Posca. Let's see if we can prepare it today. Posca was a water and vinegar based drink which probably originated in Greece as a medical mixture but became uh, an everyday drink for the Roman army and lower classes of Roman society from around 2nd century BC. It continued to be in use throughout the whole Roman history into the Byzantine period. The upper class, however, looked down upon it, since it was considered to be a low-quality drink. However, for example, the Emperor Hadrian drank Posca to show that he is one of the soldiers. Soldiers loved drinking Posca on campaigns because it was cheap, easy to make and it was an excellent hydrate drink. The vinegar also purified water from bacteria. Plutarch wrote about Cato the Elder. Water was what he drank on his campaigns, except that once in a while, in a raging thirst, he would call for vinegar, or when his strength was failing, would add a little wine. If you think about it, it actually makes a lot of sense, because vinegar is what you get when the wine production goes wrong, or you leave the wine exposed for longer time than needed. Romans drank lots of wine, so there was a lot of vinegar as well. Rather than throwing it away, factories were making posca and selling it on the street. Interestingly enough, posca appears in a controversial situation in the Bible. As Jesus Christ was suffering crucifixion, or possibly just before at Golgotha, Roman soldiers made him uh, drink a few sips of vinegar. People tend to interpret that as a form of abuse, but perhaps the Roman soldiers just wanted to lessen his misery. Roman writers mention Posca from time to time, but unfortunately no actual recipe survived. We have only a few medical recipes for Posca from Byzantine period, but that's also quite a good hint. I'm sure back then recipes for Posca weren't universal, rather they differed regionally. According to the recipes, our best guess would be that Posca consisted of water, red vinegar, salt and herbs, which probably varied according to the climate of the particular place. The quantities probably varied as well, but we, we just don't know them, so I will have to figure them out for us. I'm using water, uh, red undistilled vinegar, salt, dried coriander and fresh peppermint. Okay, first of all, let's pour some water. Shall we? And a bit of our vinegar as well. Now let me put our coriander in the mortar to grind it. That's actually some hard work here, isn't it? So now I will 
add a little bit of that. All right, now let me take a pinch of history, uh, a pinch of salt, I meant. And last but not least, let's add a few leaves of our fresh peppermint. Now let's mix all of that. All right, let's taste it, shall we? I think I've added a little bit too much uh, vinegar into that, but I have to say that this is actually quite good and I would not expect that. I thought it would be quite disgusting. There is definitely something to it. I've made that actually a bit too strong, I think, but this is actually pretty good and I feel that it might be quite hydrating and it might also be that it would be my drink of choice on ancient campaigns. So there you go, an ancient drink, Posca. <laughs>